Hello. I would like to start by asking you to look in your pocket. You will probably find a smartphone. Now think when you came here, you probably came by bus or by car. This invention has something in common. They both need energy. And in fact, in the world where we live today, energy and life are strictly related. However, we are in a period in which we need to face a crucial decision about energy. We need to choose between fossil fuels or renewables. The first choice, fossil fuels, is very easy for us because we know where to find petrol, we still have quite a bit of it, and we know how to take out energy of it in a really good way. However, this choice is making up to the destruction of our world. We are providing climate change and pollution. And going on with this route is like being a heavy smoker who knows he's providing cancer to himself. The other choice is more challenging because we can take energy from renewables or from biomasses, for example, but we are not able to do it in a continuous way. We have some periods when we can get a lot of energy and some periods when we don't have enough. For, um, now, we, we need something where we, need, uh, when we can store the energy that is found in, uh, in biomasses. And this something is hydrogen. Hydrogen is a molecule that can be directly produced from biomasses, and uh, we can store the energy of biomasses in the chemical bonds of hydrogen. And now, once we have hydrogen, we can transport it somewhere else, and we can use it to produce energy in something uh, like fuel cells, so we can get electricity production, or we can also run a car with it. So my PhD study is devoted to the development of hydrogen production processes from biomasses and from biogas, and in particular, I look into two things, which are catalysts and membranes. A catalyst is a material which is able to speed up hydrogen production. So we can produce hydrogen in a faster way with a catalyst. A membrane instead is a setup which allows us to produce pure hydrogen. And pure hydrogen is fundamental for energetic applications. Moreover, it can allow us to produce hydrogen with a lower energy cost, which is fundamental in an energy production process. And in particular, I try to look in the nature of catalysts and membrane, what stand behind them, in order to understand how to make this process cheaper. Because I think that the only way to make people choose hydrogen over petrol is to make hydrogen much cheaper than petrol. Thank you very much. Thank you.